then we start to install the printer. Then first uh, we install the lager, the hold of the lager for the printer. The first uh, we find out the key, the left key from the package, and we fasten the screw. This one, and this one, and this one, and also connect with the main key for fasten these two screw and the top four. Then we install the horizontal key. Find the key from the package and fasten it. And also the the paper release device holder to install on the left key. Fasten pack fasten all the screw. Then we install the red legger holder for the key. And also we find out the left key from the package and also the waste ink holder and the paper take up holder. Because of the DTF printer, it requires a take up device from the powder, powder process system. So this two is empty. But we can also install back the screw. Install back the, the holder on the key. And also the horizontal key to by fasten the screw at the front. And also the paper release device install back on the key. And also then we find out the waste ink tuber from the printer. And also they have clips, switch. Be sure all the switch is open. But this way it's off. But this way it's open. Be sure the four waste ink tuber, five waste ink tuber, all are off, all are open. And then we find out the waste ink tank to put on the holder. And we put the waste ink tube on the waste ink tank, like this. Then we go to the Lego, the top of the Lego, and we connect the Lego with the top printer by fasten the screw here, here, the three screw, and also the three screw on the top. To be sure it's not loosened. Also the back side of the red Lego. One, two, three, and three screw on the top. Also, but we do the same way to install the ligger on the left for both sides. Six screw at the left and six screw at the right. To be sure the top printer install wire, connect wire with the, the bottom ligger without shaking. Must have fasten all the screw of that. This is the whole lager and installed wheel right now and connect wheel with the top printer. Fasten all the screw. When you got the machine here also have A metal that connect with the connect with the printer between the printer and the wooden box. So we need to take out the both metal pole at the left and the right sides. 
Like this. When we go to the back side of the printer, we can see there's a film release device. And we just uh, be sure the two pore is stacked. And then we find out the top fasten screw to fasten it. And be sure the left holder and the right holder can be moved freely. Now we just release it because later we need to put the film on the top of the key. Then we go to the left side of the device and also we fasten the screw on the top to fasten the paper release device. Also check the left and right device can be moved freely. The left holder and right holder have a mark on each holder, the left and the right. So please do not install the wrong position. Be sure the, the lower holder with screw is at the back, at the front side, like this. So now we just release it because later we need to put the film on it. Then we start to install the powder process system that match with the printer. Here is a holder at the front of the process system. We install back and be sure it, the top is flat without bend on top or on bottom. Keep it flat. And here inside have one screw. We put a screw. Like this, and we keep it stiff as flat. As this, keep it stiff, it's flat surface. And also the width, the edge of this, the left side is at the middle of the totally edge of the printer. That means the film go from the printer can go to the top of the pallet, then go to the process system. And inside is the heating system. So we just make the, make the flight to connect with the printer. Okay, then we go to the front of the, the powder process system. We go to the button. This is the film take up device. That, that means the film go through the powder processing system, then go to the dry kit, then go to the lower, take up device to make the film of the print load up. So also here we must be sure these two can be moved freely. And now we just uh, keep release without fasten. And also the right side, be sure it can work freely. And also the side with the screw is at the front side. And also at the top of the pole have four screw. We adjust the screw at the middle. Then we fasten it. And also on the top, at the, the right side of the take-up device, it have a switch. But this way is off. And this way is for move like this way. And if by the button is for back side motion. So we keep at this position. Then we find out the waste air exhaust tube and we connect with the exhaust hole that at the top of the powder processing system 
to protect the air with that brushing. Sure it's faster. Then we find another end of the exhausting tube and we release the waste air out of the room. You can put it on the window, you can put it outside of the door to be sure all the waste air can be released, exhaust out. After we open the package and be sure the machine without damage, the wooden box and the machine all are good without any damage, then we can start to install the printer. First, we put the printer and the powder processing system at the ground. And it must be sure the ground must be flat and also clean without any dust. And also be sure the environment with air conditioner. Be sure the temperature is between 21 to 26 degrees. And also the humidity is between 50%. Then we release the machine on the ground and then we start to after we fix the position then we start to fix the keyer we fix the wheel and the legger holder for the machine first we lower down the whole legger they are, totally have four layers of the machine and be sure it's connect with the ground but not tighten when it's connect then we release and we load up the screw nut to the top and then we use the wrench to fasten it to be sure it's not shaking and it fixes some wear. We do the same process for that another three position to be sure all the four legger are fixed wear. And then we start to lock the wear. They will not move. If you not lock it, we release it, then we can move the machine. So after we fix the position, we just lock it. We lock the four wheels for each angle at the same way. Then we start to install the, the powder process system. After we position the the system that we start to lock the key, the wheel, to lock it without move. There are totally four, there are totally two leg wheels at the back, at the left side and right side. So we lock another by the same way. We lock it to be sure the powder processing system without move, the fixed wheel without move. 